I, I think we mentioned there's a game at the University of Utah today. I think I heard about that. Uh huh. Mm. Well, and today fans and players will be interacting with an iconic part of the athletics department that Fox 13 News reporter Spencer Joseph has been profiling. He joins us in studio to explain. Hey, Spencer. Yeah. As a magnificent palace of steel and concrete, this member of the Utes team has been there for 97 years. And with some major renovations, it will certainly make 100 years and beyond. And if you haven't figured it out already, I'm talking about the great Rice Eccles Stadium itself. And it really does have quite the story. The chairs are empty ahead of Thursday's home opener for University of Utah football. But there's a member of the team that's been here for longer and is arguably more important than any other player in the stadium. Let's go, I am, of course, talking about the stadium itself as Rice Eccles enters its 97th year of life. For, for me, the stadium isn't just a building. It's a place of experiences. No one knows it as well as Aaron White. I am the director of stadium and arena event services. He's worked here for 30 years, starting working setup back when he was a student. So to me, this is blood, sweat and tears. This is my home. But to understand its impact, we need to go back, way back to 1927. Previous to 1998, the stadium was, it was youth. Stadium. That stadium was actually kind of a hole in the ground with uh, oak timbers. From 27 to 72, the Ute's name remained until a donation from the Rice family. Uh, the stadium was only open for football. So we opened the stadium a month prior to football, got it all ready to go, opened for football, did six football games, and we mothballed everything, and everything was shut down for another six months, and then we opened it again. Then, in 1998, everything changed. With a donation from the Eccles family, a monumental rebuild was undertaken guys got rave reviews. for the, the 2002 Olympic Games. But there was one more finishing touch to complete today's look. With a gift from the Garf family, uh, in 2018, we renovated the south end zone and enclosed the bowl which kind of bumped us to the next level and we're right there with all the other stadiums. You have to admit, for being 97 years old, it looks pretty good. We spend a lot of maintenance dollars on steel and concrete. Our painting, uh, the, the stadium is just like a bridge or a battleship. Uh, once we start painting, we'll be painting for six years. And you start at one end and you go all the way through. Uh, carpet replacement, furniture replacement, everything's on a schedule, budgeted out. It, it actually requires millions of dollars to maintain the stadium. So as fans pour in for the 2023 home opener, it's a place near and dear to the hearts of fans, players, and of course Aaron White as the caretaker of its legacy and future. It's a place for them to come and enjoy and socialize with each other. And watching a touchdown pass and the stadium just erupts and feeling that energy, you can't get that anywhere. So hopefully we'll see some of those electric touchdown moments tonight and hopefully maybe in 2030 or 34, the world may again turn to Salt Lake City as Rice Eccles may host another opening ceremonies for the Olympic Games. In studio, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.